Okay, so yesterday I tried to be clever and show off using like bit shifting and stuff and that didn't work out well for me. So today I am not going to try and uh, be clever and I'm not going to try and show off. I'm just going to try and solve the problem in a clean, straightforward way. Um, and you know, part of me trying to be clever was uh, me trying to get on the leaderboard. Um, but I'm probably not going to get on the leaderboard this year, which is fine. I don't need to be on the leaderboard. I just need to solve the problems. Um, so I'm not going to worry about that uh, either. And so again, I am going to uh, try to be clean and clear and readable and write good code and not do any of this like bit shifting show off stuff. Uh, I think I... I think uh, I understand why what I was trying to do yesterday didn't work. Uh, thank you to the YouTube commenter who left a comment pointing that out. Um, and let's see how it goes. Problem number six. So your flight approaches the regional airport where you'll switch to a much larger plane. Custom declarations form are distributed. Form is a series of 26 yes or no questions marked A through Z. All you need to do is identify the questions for which any of your group answers yes. So your group is just you, it doesn't take very long. However, the person saying next to you seems to be experiencing a language barrier and asks if you can help. For each of the people in their group, you write down the questions for which they answer yes from front line. For example, uh, A, B, C, X, A, B, C, Y, A, B, C, Z. In this group, there are six questions, duplicate answers. Another group asks for your help, then another, and eventually you've collected answers from every group on the plane. Each group's answers are separated by a blank line, and within each group, each person's answer is a single line. For instance, this, five groups, the A, B, C, A, B, A, C, only one A, and this is the sum of these counts. Count the number of questions to which anyone answered yes. What is the sum of these counts? All right, this problem is pretty easy. Um, so, um, what do I want to do, uh, from typing, uh, import list, uh, let's say, and again, I'll, I'll do my raw input like this, um, and what I will say is I want to, um, def count yeses, and I'll just work on the raw input. Just going to return an int, um, and so what I'll do is I'll say groups is going to be raw dot split on multiple new lines, um, and then uh, what I want to do is I want to say um, uh, let's just say num yeses equals zero for group in groups. Um, let's say yeses equals, and we use a set comprehension now. And we'll say uh, the set of all characters um, for line in group dot split on new lines uh, and for C in line dot strip. Um, and then we'll say num yeses plus equals len yeses um, and then return num yeses. And let's assert that count yeses of this raw input equals, um, and what do they say it should be? Three plus three is six, plus three is nine, plus one plus one is 11. Okay, so let's, uh, let's run that. Uh, closing parenthesis does not match opening parenthesis. Um, this is the problem with having zoomed in too far. C in line, oh, I see, there's an extra parenthesis there. Okay, so that seems to work. And now let's get the input. And let us put it here. And save it. And let's say with open inputs, and I'll zoom back in day06.txt as f, uh, raw equals f.read, um, and um, print count yeses raw. Okay, so let us run this again, and it says 6,310, um, and so let's try that. That's the right answer. Continue to part two. 
So you finish the last group's customs declaration, you notice that you misread one of the instructions. You don't need to identify the questions to which anyone answered yes, you need to identify the questions to which everyone answered yes. Using the same example as above, uh, ABC, ABC, okay. Probably in the first group, all one person answered yes to three. Um, the second group, there's no question to which everyone answered yes. In the third question, everyone answered yes to only one question. Since some people did not answer yes to B or C, they don't count. In the fourth group, uh, in this six. Okay, so this seems like a good opportunity to use uh, collections.counter, um, which allows us to count things. So, so from collections, import uh, counter. Um, and then what I can do is uh, I'm going to write a second count yeses uh, function. Count yeses to uh, raw string goes to an int. And again, I'm going to say groups equals raw dot split on double new lines. Um, uh, and num yes is equal zero. Okay, so now for group in groups, uh, let's say people uh, um, let's say people equals group dot split on n new line. So we're going to split it into people first. I need to know how many people there were. Um, and then let's say here yes is equals counter of c for line in uh, now I'll call it c for person and people for c in person. So now I'm going to count it um, and uh, I'm going to say num yes is plus equal to len c uh, sum of um, let's say count equals len people uh, for c count in yeses dot value or yeses dot items. Okay, and so I'll, I'll tell you why this works in a minute and return num yeses and then assert that count yeses raw equals and they said it was six I think um, so let's see that's three plus zero plus one is four plus one is five plus one is six so assert count yeses two of raw is six and then let's just print count yes it's two of raw as well so let's run this and it passed and it's three one nine three so let us do that one gold star all right that was very fast uh, i like it when it's a fast day um so good so uh just to go back and talk through this um, let's go back to the problem. Okay, so we have uh, a bunch of yes, no questions, but forget about the questions. Uh, we have a bunch of letters, right? Um, and each letter signifies a, a yes answer. And now what they've done is each line is a person and their letters, and they're divided into groups. So in the first one, we basically want to say um, how and we don't want to double count letters in a group, right? So we want to find for each group how many unique letters are, are, are represented in this group um, and then add them up. So we did that in our first count yeses thing um, where again I split it into groups on two new lines because that's how they did it. Um, and then for the yeses I, I said take the group um, and you know I can just make this equals group dot split a new line um, j just to make these two like in parallel for person and people uh, for C in uh, I guess I didn't do the strip but that, that's okay um, and C is not a great variable but th that's fine it's, uh, so I, sp I take each group so like this could be my group I split it into people so one person is AB one person is AC um, and now what I do is I iterate over the people and over their answers. And so I make a set that says A, B, A, C, and that set is A, B, C. So that's three. I add it. Um, and then, you know, I, I probably could have done this all in uh, a one-liner, uh, you know, 
list comprehension or, or inside of sum, but I decided not to do that in the interest of not being too clever and in the interest of making things nice and readable. Um, and then in the second part, um, now, so so in some sense, like this is take the union of all these sets um, and return that count. Now they're saying take the intersection of all the sets. So um, here there's one person, so uh, you keep it. Here there's three people and their, their intersection is empty, so you count zero. Here there's two people and their intersection is just A, so you count one, um, and so on. And so um, having explained it that way, um, you, you, you know, uh, another approach without using counter um, would have been uh, people um well uh, no I'm not gonna do it this way what I was what I was gonna say is I was gonna say that we could do um something like set person for person in group dot split n um well I'll try it right um, and then say yes is equals um, from func tools import reduce. I hate reduce, which is why I was having second thoughts about doing it this way. Um, reduce, um, and I can't even remember um, function sequence initial. Um, so uh, from operator import ands is that right? No, that's not going to work. So, so anyway, this this is not going to. Um, yeah, doing set intersections like this, there, there's probably a good way to make it work, and and it's just going to get messy. So I'm not going to mess with it. Um, so anyway, I'll, I'll stick with my original counter approach. So counter just counts things, right? Um, and, and so what I did is I said, you know what, one way of finding the intersection is to count how many things occur the same number of times as the number of people. So here for this counter, it'll say A is 2, B is 1, C is 1. I know there's two people. So uh, let me count up all the votes. And now what I want to do is I want to iterate over all the counters items, which is like a dict, you know, item and count. Um, and I just want to... S you can sum across a bool to uh, to count things, which is a good trick. Um, and so I want to, you know, only keep the ones where the count is the same as number of people, which means that everyone said this answer, um, and add that to the yeses. So um, pretty pretty straightforward. Um, if there was a way to like intersect a lot of sets, um, then I would do that, but um, I didn't do it. All right, anyway, I'll push this to GitHub. Uh, thanks for watching. That was good. I'm glad it worked. Uh, I'm glad it was pretty straightforward. See you next time.